practice at exercise 4.7 XO, we're going to write a static method named XO. So we're going to have public static void XO. And this is how we're going to start it. We need to accept an integer size as a parameter. So inside of these parameters, we're going to do int, call it size. And it's going to print a square of size by size characters, where all characters are going to be O, except that an X pattern of X characters has to be drawn from the corners of the square. So basically, the first and last characters that's super important to note are X. And then on the second line, the second and second from the last characters are X, so on and so forth. If zero or less is passed in, no output should be produced. So we're going to start this off with a for loop. And the reason we're going to use a for loop is because we need to run through this um, X many times. X being the amount of rows we have which is the size that we're passed in. So we're going to do for an arbitrary int a is equal to zero, has to be less than the size, and then we are going to do a plus plus. So inside of our for loop, we are just going to print out our o's. So this is going to run through all of the rows. Now we need to look at the specific columns. So in each column, we have a certain number of things that we need to print out. Remember, it's a square. So we're going to print out eight things if we are passed in eight, five things if we're passed in five, and then same for the rest of them. So instead of here, we're going to do four int b is equal to zero, and we'll do b as long as it's less than our size, and then we're just going to do b plus plus so we can eventually break out of here. And so now we have an encased for loop. Now, if our, like it says right here, first and last characters are x, we are going to need to print them out. So what we can do is make a variable up here. We will do int first, and we'll set this equal, because we want to put it at the very beginning, so it's going to be zero. And then um, our last one, so we're gonna have the first and last, we'll do last, is gonna be equal to our last space, which is just going to be the size minus one. And we could try size, but it wouldn't work. So you would do size minus one because it's one too big. And now we're going to be inside of here. So the first thing that we're going to check, because the first thing we're going to want to do is print out our x for the first line. So we'll do if, and this is running through our entire um, columns from left to right first. That's what the inner for loop does. If our first is equal to our b, meaning that we're in row zero and we want to print at index zero, we're going to be in here. Or if our, our last is equal to our B as well, we are going to want to print this out because we need to print it at the beginning or at the end and then taper it to the middle. And we're going to do this as B increments every single time. So if this is the case, what we're going to just do is do a system.out.print. All of these are going to be dot .print, um, except for the very last one, which will uh, make us on a new line. And that's when we're breaking out of, the, not breaking out of the loop. We will be breaking out of the inner while loop, or inner for loop, and then going into the outer for loop to go to the next row. Because remember, the inner for loop is for the columns, and the outer for loop is for the rows. So we do system.out.print, and then inside of here, we're going to print our x and so we can end this and then um, it, otherwise we're just going to print out an o right because we're only doing this for this circumstance otherwise we don't really need to worry about anything and we can do system.out.print and then we are going to do an o inside of here we can close this else statement we can close our for loop the inner for loop for the column we've gone through the entire column and now we need to go to the next row so going to the next row, which would be like two, three, four, however many are sizes, we need a new line. So we're going to use system.out.print line. And so that's going to give us a new line. Now we want our x to be in the next spot, so the next index. So what we can do is do first plus plus. Now we want our last to be one closer. So what we're going to do is we are going to do last minus minus. So it goes down an index. And that should be it. So we're going to close off our outside for loop 
we're going to close off our method. We can click submit. It will check the code. And we have passed all seven out of seven tests. So that is the code that will solve this practice at 4.7 XO exercise.